Hello everybody, and welcome to another video of the Jeremy Crazy 30 wrestling promotion. Facing against real life promotions, but AI generated rosters and everything of who they sign and stuff. And we have two signees that we started with, um, Dallas Jones and Noah Fuchiji, um, that we uh, did written contracts right away as kind of the start. And I think overall, with production, um, since we have been um, kind of like increasing our popularity quite fast with gaining 0.6 every single time, um, I think it'll be okay to do a change when it comes to production that we can do this high quality instead of this medium quality stage um, quality and get a higher score so to speak it'll be 200,000 for the impl imp implementation imp however you say that word um, which is kind of like the upfront cost and then it's 500,000 per month. Um, it will change the score a little bit because right now the match score and multiplier and the angle score multiplier is 73% and 77%. Um, but um, that seems to be like the only downfall I believe that we would have because it, for camera, industry standard is perfectly fine. We'll have copyright free. When it comes to um, music, we'll have no pyro and then average. I mean, we could go up to good for video production and editing, but that's like angle stuff where um, the stage quality kind of is like a match slash you know it just impacts segment scores so it's like every single segment is you know going to be impacted regardless so it'd be different if we just do this this only impacts angles which is you know promos maybe um, a brawl that happens and overall in general but with this is just overall segment so it, it involves matches and angles so we're gonna do that we're gonna confirm it because if we go back and forth like my other series it's just gonna decrease it's gonna the um the cost of the upfront cost is going to be implemented every single time and so you're gonna lose money drastically um, if you keep going back and forth. So they're like, are you sure you want to change this option? Um, as well as the monthly class, it will cost $200,000 to implement this option. So it's like the upfront cost and we are going to confirm it. And so our match score went up to 77 compared to 73 and our angle score at 82%. So it is going to help us in the long run overall when it comes to that and that is the only thing I was wanting to change and yet we're losing a million dollars per month but um, overall I feel like we do it this month see how it is worst case is we go back it's only a fifty thousand dollar implement cost and we go back but I think within this event for this one um, we can test the waters a little bit and see how it will change and it may change our um, popularity too as well as last time we did get a 71 percent so we have a 0.1 in latin america which is south america um, continent wise so um that is that and we will get on to booking um and so I have stuff written down um, that will make it a little bit easier uh, for me to put in because it does take a little bit of time. So we are going to go down the line with what I have written down or, you know, storylines, so to speak. 
So we have a promo coming up, and it's going to be with um, Dallas Jones with, if I can find his name, it's Kofi, I'm just going to do a 10 minute promo for him because promos are 10 minutes and matches are 5 so um, we're just going to do that um, save it and already like 221 but we're going to keep this 100 um, and see how it plays out because we may do it for like 2 months because we do have 99 like million dollars so we can play it around or 900 uh and 99 uh million dollars so we can play around with a few times before we go technically bankrupt so it's not like we're going bankrupt anytime soon um for the next one we have a match so we're going to add a match with to make this simple enough we're gonna do the males right away so we have a match with Roderick Riley and Liam Bailey I've been cooking it up a little bit in there I'm going to do that one instead. See how that reacts because their last angle was an 82% um, percent score. So they've been kind of um, working the crowd and getting that um, uh, performance and everything else when it comes to um, trying to win people over and gain that fans and everything. So... They've been doing pretty well with that. I'm going to add an angle. Um, we're going to make this a five minute one. It's going to be a promo. It's going to deal with Badass Duo. And. Ryder Wood. And that's Story Beats. And that's with that. So we got two promos going on. Last Last event, they did a singles match, um, and not a tag team match, and Ryder did win that match, but they're doing a promo with each other, so, um, hopefully that goes well. Um, then we got another angle that we'll have to add, um, it's going to be first talking. With Hamish. It's going to be doing five minutes of just talking. And then he's going to set a promo. So he kind of won the singles match last event. So he's kind of trying to set things up to... Um, put people over the edge or just, you know, um, be like, yeah, I'm the winner, everything else. Then we add a match, and it's faces that run the place, and money is life. Uh, I'm just, even though it's a tag team, but singles, it has implication on the same thing. 
Um, we'll have that going. Then we got... Uh, another match with Aaron Willis and Tama Murphy. They've been doing pretty well when it comes to doing their angles, everything. They've been working it up 53 to 66. So they've been building it up um, so slightly because the first match that they had was a 31% score. And then the first angle with Aaron Willis kind of setting things up um, was a 53% and then a 66% the last event um, overall. So they've been working and improving their score um, quite well. And we have to add another angle. Um, kind of. We will make an entrance because I feel like this is how that's going to work. Um, about him, takes a minute for his entrance, and he's going to talk for four minutes. About his opponent, but not necessarily. It's going to infect him a little bit. And then. Um, just going to make his entrance. And then they get into the war. And who do I want winning? I'm going to put him at the bottom because it is the number one spot that wins it. So I get into that. So Nathaniel makes his entrance. He talks about Flynn Allen, um, which kind of makes it not important to the segment. And he just talking that Flynn Allen makes his entrance. They get into um, to a verbal sparring match, so to speak. And that is it for the males. We'll go to the females. Work our way from the top to the bottom. And uh, we got a match with... Martin and Megan Pyers. Um, they've been really doing pretty well. I mean, their last, it was like their first, their match was, you know, start and see where they were at. Then their um, angle was pretty well because they had a brawl. Um, and then this past one, it wasn't that well, but... Just the singles women. Everything else. So we have that. And I'll fix it um, when we get closer to being everything done. Like usual. Um, then we have another match. It's Mackenzie Herman. Or no. Mackenzie Herman had a match with... Noah, not the funny duo. Um, if I delete these two. It is Jada Costa and Linnell. Okay, it's like, hmm, who goes where? Jada Costa, and then Mackenzie Herman, five minutes, singles women, no 
titles on the line. All good there. Um, then we got comedy duo and so we'll add an angle. So the story beats. Garcia, Armani, and teams of the funny duo, just talking amicably, and then add to the story beats of a promo with Ellen and Armani. So that should be good. Then we have a match with Eileen. And these two have been going at it. It went from like 30 as a match and then 70 to 72. So they're kind of due for a match against each other. And then Ellen kind of having a promo with Rennie or Ellie, not Ellen. Yeah, then we'll do, uh, video. We'll do that. I should. Um, then we have an angle with... Sia has been winning, so we are going to make it attacking. What is her specialty? Entertainment, psychology, looks, intimidation. It's not really that well because that favors popularity, looks, star power. Star power, she has a 70. Looks, she has 74. Uh, popularity, she has none in North America. But anyway, um, Kayo attacks her because she's getting frustrated. And then. That's a promo. Four minutes. And then. You see, I get medical help for. All right, so. It's going towards the end. Um. No, Roderick. And more towards the back ends. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Choices, choices. Aaron Wallace should be towards the back. Probably switch spots. I mean, yeah, okay, the potential attendance switches, but we're for sure getting 100 people in the building. 
We'll do that. Um, so I know it's kind of hard because. I'm kind of going based off of also marketability too and I know knowing these guys are up there even though it's kind of like him he has the written contract so he gets like the merchandise and everything towards us but it's Kofi is also up there too as well so and then Roderick Riley is also signed with WWE so kind of having him towards the top and Liam Bailey they've been really good um, they had a 44 match to begin with, and then they had 67 angle the second event, and then this past event they had an 82. Um, so they're kind of getting up there. Um, Aaron Willis and Tama Murphy have been getting up there as well. Um, same with like Eileen and Lila, um, kind of going up there. Um, I feel like who has been doing better for angle wise I think it's kind of hard to tell because it's either a they're due for a match or B um, it's kind of breaking up from okay we've had two matches to an angle or um, or overall doing match angle match angle just kind of Swapping around stuff and everything. Um, kind of doing that. But no. Well, it was kind of their first angle, and the second angle was kind of mediocre. And I'm going to swap this though. So these guys are doing good, doing good, kind of going up there, I think, these have to be swapped. So I know Hamish and Lachlan are kind of tied with Nathaniel and Flynn when it comes to overall marketability. So... I think this is good as it gets overall so we have booked everything to our power and it's the 30th on that Friday is when it happens and they're gonna ask for like email stuff push requests and deserve a push uh, no you have not thank you for trying We're also getting tired of the push that Aaron Willis has been getting. You guys are literally at the bottom of the totem pole. Like, all of you guys are at bare minimum. I don't know why you're complaining. match for June I don't know what the plans are as of right now it's kind of up in the air because he is part of a tag team but don't know if that tag team with the badass duo is the set to um It's already in the storyline. It's like I'm rejecting everybody, but it's I already have a plan for people, so it's like if they get kind of butthurt on it, it's on them. So we are at the date of the show, and we'll get on the road to start the show. 
And we start off the show with a 10 minute angle of Ryder Wood and Qantas cuts a promo on the Badass Duo. And then the Badass Duo cuts a promo on Qantas and Ryder Wood. Um, star power of King Brooks added to both. And then the musical performer of Kiwa um, added. So they both 55, 52-ish. The 54%, but the true segment score was a 65 Um, then we have the tag team of Faces Run the Place and Money is Life, and Money is Life won again. They've won the first match against these two, um, that these two, um, came up. Um, Alright, good to know that Jaime and Kevin have a pretty bad chemistry as a team, which hurt the match, match slightly. Jaime did um, the heavy lifting. Um, Henry Cardoso was struggling with breath at the end. Jaime and Kevin had a boost of their gimmick. Backstage morale, um, not performing at their best. The vocal crowd were in love with the segment. And then obviously bad chemistry. Henry and Naeem... Lost point one, I mean Kevin Vera game point two. Um, absolute value was fifty four percent, fifty percent with a half star match quality, and then their true segment score was a fifty two, and then a forty percent final score overall. We got a fifty eight percent. Um, with a 50 of Lucia being attacked by Kayo. And then Kayo cuts a promo at 62%. And an 83% of Lucia getting medical attention. And the true segment score was 71%. They both gained 0.2 of rating for their popularity. And yeah, 71 and 58%. So we're slowly increasing, fluctuating a little bit. We have a 44 um, of Lily and Megan, 57% uh, match quality, 57% um, true calculation with the crowd reaction, and true segment score of 57 as well. So it's been 57 across the board with the 44 final score. Um, the intimidating presence of Lily Martin. She was also struggling for breath. The star power of Megan, and she was struggling for breath. Um, the backstage morale. And then Megan did the heavy lifting. Uh, the vocal crowd were in love with the segment, which made their reaction even better. Lily gained point two, and she wins the match. Uh, camera quality limits our possible audience satisfaction. So we have the stage quality. Now it's the camera quality. Alright, so we have a segment with the tag team of the funny duo and Ellen and Armani. Ellen and Armani gain point two. Allison and Kapuki uh, didn't gain anything, but Ellen and Armani talk about Allison and Kapuki. Um, and then they cut a promo, got 81%, 81%, and they had a 98 true segment score. So 81% overall final score with a 98% true segment score. Um, the millionaire gimmick of Ellen Garcia worked with the story beats. Then we got a 44% with a half with 52%, true segment score 57 and a 62 true calculation. Um, it is a singles competition because uh, last event it was Noah versus uh, Noah versus Mackenzie and Noah won. Um, this time it was Linnell versus Jada and Linnell won. So the heels are dominating the faces yet again, whether it be in singles or in tag team competition. Um, Linnell was strong with breath, the intimidating presence of Jada, good looks of Jada added to it, the backstage 
Um, morale meant the workers were not at their best. Vocal crowd were in love. Linnell did the heavy lifting. Camera quality limits our possible audience satisfaction. Linnell, popularity change point two. And Jada Costa lost point one. And Linnell won the match. We got a 58% with Ellie Thompson and Rini. They both gained 0.2, 61% with the video of Ellie and Rini, and then Ellie Thompson cuts a promo to drop it down to a 54%, and they got a true segment score of 70%, but it ended up being a 58 with the calculation. We got a dud right in the middle of Lila and Eileen. Star power of Eileen. Lila had a boost of her gimmick, the star power of Lila. Um, the intimidating presence of Lila added to the match. Backstage morale. Um, vocal crowd were in love with it. Lila did the heavy lifting. And then the camera quality. And then Eileen and Lila. Um, Eileen lost 0.1 and Lila gained 0.2. So they had a 45% true calcula or calculation with crowd reaction. A dud, so no uh, match quality score. And a true segment score of 45 to get a 34. And Lila won. We got a 62%. Flynn and Nathaniel, they both gained 0.2. Um, had a 66% of Nathaniel making his entrance. And then he was talking about Flynn Allen. Um, Flynn Allen makes his entrance and he helped it get a 74%. And then Nathaniel engages in a sparring match with... Flynn Allen and the star power of Flynn added basically the whole entire thing and got a 61% off of the sparring match and 62% final score on that, but it was a true segment score of 75. We have a match with Tama Murphy and Aaron Willis. Tama Murphy was struggling with back, backstage morale. The vocal crowd were in love with um, the segments. Um, Aaron Willis and Tom Murphy have decent chemistry as opponents. Helped the match quality, even though it was a negative two and a half stars. So at a 22%, um, 72%, um, true segment score, or segment score with the crowd reaction, and then true segment score of 47 to get a 36%. Aaron Willis gained point two, he won the match, and Tama Murphy lost point one. Uh, we got Hamas Johnson and Lachlan Allen. They both gained point two. Hamas talks about Lachlan, and then Hamas cuts a promo, and his unstable gimmick helped with the story beat to increase from fifty-five to sixty, and then overall a fifty-eight percent with the true segment score of seventy. Then we got Roderick Riley and Liam Bailey, who have been doing pretty well within their overall rivalry storyline. Um, their backstage morale made them, they weren't performing well. Um, Roderick Riley did the heavy lifting. The vocal crowd were in love with it. Camera quality, um, Roderick gained point two. Liam lost point one. And then the star power of Roderick and Liam added to it. And then Liam had a boost of his gimmick and he was struggling for breath. So we have a 77% with the calculation with crowd reaction. 61% one and a half star match quality. And then true segment score of 69% to end up getting a 53%. And to end it off, Dallas Jones just cuts a promo on Kofi. Kofi uh, gains 0.2, Dallas doesn't gain anything, and a 41%, but a true segment score of 50%. And that ends the show. We had a 68%, so we almost could have gained another $250,000, but we did not this time. Um, and we still gained 0.6 thought maybe changing um, with the stage quality may gain a little bit more, but we did not. We will end the show. We'll show that we 
got our 1050 the 100 sold out overall we're in May already go to finances we gained 26 um, dollars in merchandise as that doesn't add up unless it was overall like because these are a written contract that they um, had 19 and it was 26 so five dollars from overall merchandise within the event was um, given to us um, seven dollars yeah, x is 19 and then seven dollars is 26 yeah um, so Dallas Jones got seven dollars now I got 12 you can see they've been in slowly increasing week after week so the first week was three next week was eight them splitting uh, Noah's been getting like two dollars extra um, or four Sh she's been ahead compared to Dallas um, and then nine and five and then this one twelve and seven so um, slowly increasing we're gonna simulate to the next day Kind of seeing hmm that's weird that it should be showing over here and not over here but anywho um that being said, we still got our point one with South America. In North America, we gained another point six, so we are at two point four um, overall. And obviously, with production, we're losing a lot of money. So now that we know that stage quality is good, I wonder if we should do cutting edge camera quality and see what what would happen. Um, with that, but that's gonna be 500,000 right away, and then it's a million and 500 like 1.5 mil just for cutting edge of camera quality and It's probably also part of it is um, average editing video production editing um, So if we would change it to good it would probably be a whole lot better um, overall but that being said, hopefully you appreciate this video as we are just, you know, scratching by on that 70% mark, just trying to keep getting the $250,000 per month. That way we don't have to eat up the cost as much and uh, may, uh, you know, change one of the um, settings that I just showed. Uh, for the next one as you know we have 997 million dollars in the bank so um, it at this point it's not like we're going bankrupt anytime soon so uh, and it seems like we're increasing you know sales and everything when it comes to um, merchandise and all that stuff so um, it'll eventually get there um, we may, you know, sign a contract with the other wrestlers that have been putting in the work and everything um, to increase the merchandise, increase the sales, um, which will be a big, big boost for our company. So, um, that being said, hopefully you have a great day and night wherever you are, and uh, peace out.